Okay, so I just tried something and I want to share this with you. Not a long video today, but it's a little crazy. And it also is going to explain why seven years ago I picked up a MacBook Pro for the first time after being a PC user and I stuck with it. Now hear me out here. I know you're going to say I'm just a fanboy Mac boy, fanboy Mac boy, fanboy. But let me just show you this. And this is very relevant to what I was doing at the time, which is .NET development. I was doing SharePoint development and I saw that SharePoint in Inside a virtual machine on a MacBook was running faster than on my desktop PC that I custom built. It just blew my mind. So I decided, okay, I'm gonna try Max for real. And to this very day, that little fact remains true. Let me show you. If you stay to the end of the video, I'm gonna be doing a raffle and you could win something. All right, so here what I've got is a Blazor application that I've built for a course. It's basically an issue tracking application. If you've seen any of my courses, you know I use this issue tracking app. So here it is, I've got it open on two machines. This is the MacBook Pro with 64 gigs of RAM. It's a Core i9 machine. And this is a machine that I'm testing right now that I'm making some videos with. It's a Lenovo ThinkBook 14 second generation with the Ryzen 7 chip in it. So I'm gonna run these at the same time, build the project and see which one opens the application first in a browser simple and you wouldn't believe what happens next all right so i'm gonna actually first clean this let's clean the solution and let's clean the solution here because i've already done a bunch of builds and i'm gonna hover my mouse over is express this is going to build the project and open up a browser edge and start it up and we'll see which one of them does it first ready i'm gonna smash that button boom it's building, it's building. By the way, you can smash that like button if you like this video too. And look at that. <laughs> wow, wow, look at that, look at that. This one is still thinking about it. Okay, there we go, it opened up. This MacBook Pro is running Parallels, a virtualization software that allows you to run Windows on a Mac. It's running Parallels and it's running Windows 10 inside of Parallels, virtual. And then I've got Visual Studio inside of that. And it's running faster than natively Windows running Visual Studio on a PC laptop, crazy. Now, in case you think this is just a fluke, let's do it again. I'm gonna push the IS Express. Now it's already built this time, so it's gonna take a lot less time to start up, but let's see. And there we go. The one on the MacBook Pro opened up first, even for a subsequent build. You know what, let's do it one more time, just for kicks. Boom, okay, it's still winning. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot believe this is happening. Even to this day, that is insane. And really good job to Parallels, by the way, for doing this for getting such a smooth experience. I'm running Parallels now in what they call coherence mode, which means I'm basically on my Mac desktop. I don't have a shell that's the virtual machine. It's just running Visual Studio and I get the Visual Studio taskbar on the Mac taskbar. So it's like a coherent experience. Basically, it's like running Visual Studio 2019 on a Mac, not the Mac Visual Studio, but Visual Studio 2019, the one that's only built for Windows. Now, you might be wondering, why did this happen? Why, why the crazy speed on a Mac compared to running natively? Well, you might have noticed that I'm running an Intel Core i9 machine on a Mac and an AMD Ryzen 7 machine on the ThinkBook. So maybe the processor had something to do with that. Probably it did. And some of you might say that you should really be using a Ryzen 9 processor to be comparing against the Core i9. I actually, I'm not sure what the equivalents are for AMD and Intel machines. If you know, let me know down in the comments below. Oh, and if you're curious about the setup that I use for my parallels and the virtual machine, like what processors, what memory I use, let me know in the comments too, and I can do a video on that. And by the way, parallels did hook me up with some free licenses to give out to you folks. So I'm gonna pick a random person from the comments below in a week's time, and I'm gonna check to make sure you're a subscriber to the channel, and you're gonna win yourself a copy of Parallels. Now, if you didn't win, don't worry. Use the link below. You can still purchase a copy of Parallels. Use my link, please, because it's gonna support the channel. It doesn't cost you any extra. And if you did like this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of videos, consider subscribing to the channel. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.